Hello, welcome to Scratch Theory Printing. This is not a video that I normally do, but I feel like I need to get this out there. Let's scratch today's topic. I just want to talk about Creality Space Pi X4. The reason why I want to talk about this and address this issue or this problem that I have with Creality Space Pi X4 is that why in the world would you not make that as the CFS, right? Make the CFS like your Space Pi 4X. That's what people wanted. And another reason why I'm complaining in this video about the Space Pi 4X is that it's not even compatible with the 3D printer. That is basically just a filament dryer. So let's head over to the computer and see what exactly this thing is. Here is Creality Space Pi X4. It's a filament dryer as you can see right here. Let's go to the next page. You can have four spools. You can heat up to 85C, active dehumidification. Why couldn't they put that for the CFS? Drying and active dehumidification during printing, that will make it so much better, 4X better than just a normal CFS system for the filament extruding changing the filament. From this picture here, it shows you that you can print some of the filament inside here with a 3D printer, with a boring tube, but it's kind of complicated to be honest. You uh, you have to put it in the tube here, you have to open this like halfway, hold it open halfway, feed in the filament through the tube and then slowly doing it. And then once it hits this, you have to plug in the tube bag, which is chaotic in my opinion. I tried that before with other filament dry and it was very hard to do. Here we can see that it works with their Creality High, but it's only one color and you had to independently connect the tube from the dryer to the 3D printer and you can only do one color printing. It says effortless multicolor printing, but it's not true. You need four color for each single spool filament. That is not multicolor printing. From the look at that, you can print one material out of the Space Pi 4X. You can print one material to a 3D printer, but you cannot print multicolor like how the CFS can with four color. It does hold four filament, but it's just for drying. What is the point? I have seen people use the Space Pi 4X and they say that it's a really good dryer. It has all the cool functions. It has this, it has that, it has whatever cool features. But yeah, it's just drying filament. It's just why creating? Why didn't you make the CFS? like the space pi i felt like creality really rushed the cfs the k1 series back when bamboo labs came out with the p1p and p1s that has multicolor 3d printing it's a big failure on creality's part i think i'm i don't know but i think yeah because the k1 max is compatible with the cfs you just plug in two extra wires you don't even need to change the motherboard so it was intentionally made for the cfs but it was rushed out to compete with the market. And then they released the K2 Plus because people wanted a huge size. And then they did that. And now they have to make it compatible with the CFS. And they did that. And then years later, up until now, they made the K1 Max compatible with the CFS by just plugging two extra wires. And I feel like the system, it's not even that good. It's good that you can print with four colors. But there's like some things here and there. And all the filament just go inside your 3D printer, which you have to clean all the time. There's really no way to make a poop catcher for that, but I guess I'll try to figure out a way to do it. But anyway, back to the Space Pi 4X. Yeah, I just don't know why they didn't make the CFS like that. That's just my biggest complaint. And now they came out with this, and I think if they're gonna be making the Space Pi 4X compatible with the K2 Plus or compatible for multicolored printing. People will be mad that it wasn't the CFS. So I guess Creality decided to just, you know, hey, let's just make it a filament dryer instead of be compatible with our 3D printers because that's gonna make people mad of buying so many CFS. And now the Space Pi 4X is compatible with multicolor printing, they gotta throw away all their CFS and use this new version. So let's just make it a filament dryer. I feel like that's the process thinking of Creality when they make this thing. But I don't know. The reason why I'm complaining here is that Anycubic did this correctly. Even though their filament dryer is like not the best dryer out there, it, it's a dryer compatible with multicolor printing at the same time. You do get a little bit of moisture out here and there 
while printing with the Ace Pro, but on the CFS, the humidity is just high up there. For mine, it's always like 45 to 50 percent. I'm not sure how to make that number lower, but on the Ace Pro, it starts out like 50, but then you dry it and it goes down to 30 ish percent. So it's really good, and I get so much better quality when printing with the Ace Pro because I can actively dry or put hot air heating the filament, dry a little bit while printing. But the CFS, it doesn't work like that. I feel like all they need to do on the CFS is, is put some heat pipe on the bottom of the CFS and then put two fans to blow it up. I feel like that's pretty much it. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I really want to hear your thoughts about the Space Pipe 4X versus the CFS. Why didn't the CFS be the Space Pipe 4X? I feel like many of you will agree with me, but some of you will disagree with me, but it doesn't matter which side you're on. I am on the side, why didn't the CFS be the Space Pipe 4X have active dryer? I just want the CFS to actively dry or heating or whatever you want to call my filament while I'm 3D printing so that I get the best quality. And I don't have to dry it on this machine here and then take it out, put it on the CFS, print it like for a couple hours, oh no, it has moisture, I gotta take it out, put it onto the space pipe for x dry for like 12 hours, and then switch back and forth. That is a lot of work. And you gotta buy two separate machines just to dry your filament. It's a really huge missed opportunity, but that's just my complaint, ranting about Creality Space Pipe 4 x versus the CFS. But hey, don't take this video too seriously, but do also take it seriously because I feel like complaining videos like this will make companies better in the future. Do put your opinion in the comments down below so that we can have all this opinion and maybe Creality or other company will see you guys' opinion and my opinion of improving 3D printing for everybody in the future. But that'll be it for this video. Leave a like on this video. Don't dislike because I'm sure many of you have the same thoughts like me. Subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming. And also if you enjoyed this video and my channel, consider becoming a membership of the YouTube channel. And as always, keep on 3D printing.